That evening, there was another barrage that happened an hour before the ceasefire. Unfortunately, the people who were here had no idea that that was going to happen. Zevik is something that you can, you can speak it past. Is everything is the ambulance driver, uh, the safety man, uh, father of five children, um, husband of friend. When you need, he's there. In the morning, when the pocket eat the electric, my son called and say, "Mommy, it's it next to Melamed family." I said, "Melamed family is our neighbors, so it's next to us." Nirim had been without electricity from 9.30 in the morning. This was 6 in the evening. Zevik and his helper Shahar and other people were around to help support the people who had come to, uh, to fix the electricity. And a barrage started. There was a, a, a code red. My husband and one more, people, my, one more man succeed. They get in to the safety place. The other don't. In the middle of the sail, the rocket fell next to them. That's when the, the barrage hit them, the, the mortar hit them. It blew off Gadi's legs, he was closest. It killed Zevik immediately. It, it mortally wounded Shahar. My husband see all the situation. You get uh, first aid to one of them, invite three ambulance, and he came back here, and it was terrible. Shahar lasted another few hours, and then he expired in hospital. Um, and that was an hour before the ceasefire. And then everything was quiet, as it is now. At six o'clock, he called me again and say something terrible happened. Zevik is dead. Zevik is dead. You have to say to something to somebody. I crushed. It's so hard, and later you have to go to your work, start a new day. And uh, it's always in your, in your mind, the fear, the, the stress, when it's coming again. <laughs>